hello programmer welcome back to another tutorial on PSP and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how we can add multiple argument in a function but first why we use argument in a function suppose we have make a function which need external data for processing then at that time we can use argument to pass that external data into a function so for the example of argument here I'm gonna create a function which will check the login details. So write function login check. Now suppose in a database we have username as well as password. So write d username equal to Noraj. and the password equal to one two three abc then in argument we are going to store username and password enter by user i username and i password now I'm gonna write a code to compare username and password from a database with the username and password enter by user. If d username equal to i username and operator d password equal to i password. If this condition become true that means username and password are in a database so print echo login success if the condition false then else echo username and password does not match now the last thing we have to do is being a user send username and password into a function so write login check then we have to write username and password in a correct order username equal to noras and password equal to one two three abc save this and here we got login success that means our username and password has been matched now let's see the process behind this output first we call login check function as well as send username and password into a login check function after that noraj is stored by username and 123 abc is stored by password at last it check the condition if username and password enter by user matches with the username and password from a database then it print login success else username and password does not match so if i give a wrong login details then the output will be different and we got username and password does not match and if you have any question on this tutorial then let me know on the comment section below and I will see you on the next tutorial.